Του λέω, Νικόλα, θα σου πω μια ιστορία. Ρε, στην παράσταση του λέω, like, uh, I gotta share a story with you. Um, guess what's that? I go, my dad has shared a story with me about you when you arrived in Australia. Guess oh, what's I that? I, I, was gonna ask you, I was going to ask you about it before when you brought it up. Go dad, ahead, say it. I think dad said it publicly so I could share it on your podcast. Yeah. Um, when he arrived on the plane, you know, he was a seven-year-old kid, yeah? yeah. Seventeen-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was a stick. And he looked he really he young. Looked, he looked young yeah, and he looked yeah. skinny. He's a stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my old man, uh, my dad being the, um, the secretary at the time, being at the airport, turned around to Nicholas Kamaki and said, Hey, Nicole, are you sure you brought brought the right kid with you here, bro? Like, this kid, he looks yeah, so young. He looks very slow. Is he going to survive three months, three months in Australia uh, playing Luke, sort of war, you know? Are you sure he's going to survive? And, um, Nicholson, he said, like, he turns around to my dad and says, Socrati, he has a set, very many. That is, uh, you know, uh, you know, that little, I would have busy, blah, 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 you know, like, uh, hold your horses, brother. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 wait, wait, see, wait and see, wait and yeah. see, what you hear. And, um, you know, just come, you know, relax. And, uh, it's okay, and, and off they went. Obviously, in the first, the lady and this kid's a gun, you know, and yeah. Nicholson was a gun at 17 years old, right? Oh, yeah. So, um, dad shared his story with me. And um, he thought he, he he had doubts. He had doubts. But of course, after that, you know, three months later, um, Nico was uh, he was a gun from a very young age. Oh yeah. And uh, so I've shared that story with him, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he knew he knew that story because Nico had told him. Nico said, "I can tell him." So and he chuckled when I told him last week. Put up. He, at least he smiled and said, "Do not set in good faith." Yeah. He didn't say the people are. Oh no! Absolutely, no, no, no. To be no, good faith, really, you know. Really, 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 but to this day, though, he says it because you know, it's a secret, you know. Yeah, it's a secret. That's the. Yeah. That's how I hear the story. I, I hear it as a. Well, they passed it down to me. As a, you and know, I thought it's you this know, young it's, kid comes off the plane because at the time there wasn't really young kids playing instruments, right? No. Even and there wasn't many young and, and you know what yeah. he he is and it's I put it on record oh, yeah. he is the youngest musician to come to Australia oh yeah he yeah. has the record he was seventeen at the time there has not been a seventeen year old to come to Australia as an international artist never would it before would it after that wow right there hasn't been a seventeen year old to come as a, an invited guest you know as an invited musician yeah yeah um, there's been young kids that have come. But not in an official capacity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Kids coming as like bandmates mm. and stuff like that. That's yeah. right. That's right. Um, America too. So yeah, in, interesting stories. A lot, a lot of those. But um, I wish we had time to do a little bit more of those too. But I caught you off guard with this in the beginning, so I'll give it to you. I think. Um, look, I suppose there's a lot more stories that I can share with you. Um, yeah, my dad will share a lot more with you. Um, I'll share this one with you. I'll share this musician story with you. Again, Dad, Dad passed it down to me. Because um, I'll share the ones that are in good faith. In good, good faith. Of course. Those um, are the ones that we need to pass on so that other right, people can right, hear the, right. the, the Which the he story. has shared with people. So they have, they have gotten out. But I reckon it's good we document on your podcast. So it's 1974. So he's taken Spiros of Yoraki and Yanima Polyanaki, who coincidentally is another thing to keep tonight in spinning. I know. Okay. Your brother told but me. I can't go to both, so I'm going to go to both. And I've, I've expressed my um, apologies to the Magrianaki family and um, I'm sending some presentation there. Anyway, must be gossip. So it's 1974. So, so my dad's got a, a Beetle, a Volkswagen Beetle, V dub, yeah? Um, uh, and he's taken them on a safari cruise to the zoo at the suburbs back there. But the, um, it's one of those safari tours where you take the car in. You don't walk to the zoo where they're all caged up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the lions, the tigers, the animals, the giraffes, they're all walking around. But you take your car in. You take your own car. Take your own car in, right? <laughs> at, your own ex- at your own risk. That doesn't exist anymore, of course, no, right, with today's um, new regulations. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So he takes them. So he thought of play a prank on them, right? So what does he do? He um, he lets the car roll. He coincidentally switches the engine off and tells them both, one's in the back seat, one's in the front seat, oh, sorry, Spudor, the animal, but my car's just conked out. I don't know you got to get out and push, but we got to kickstart the car. <laughs> but the animals are only a few metres away, right? 
we're talking about tigers, lions, <laughs> um, and a sort of zoo. They're shitting themselves. They're having a go at each other. Oh, he's yelling. Oh, he's spitting. Oh, he's shaking. He's making up with you. Welcome, man. Making up with you. He's making up with you. They're arguing amongst each other. Who's going to get out? Push. Oh, he's so glad that Timo can't. So glad that Timo can't spit on him. Oh, he's a boro. So that for about twenty minutes, twenty-five minutes, they're having a go at each other. Of who's got the younger family? Who's got the older family? Who's got the more? He pulls across his back. Right? Because they're both scared they're going to get big. <laughs> oh, I, I would never get out of there. So the old, man, even go the old man's let them go, right, for about 15, 20 minutes, having a go at each other, until he's told them the story, and it's only a prank, and he started the car, obviously, and they drove off. But, look, obviously, he, he, he will express it to you with a lot more detail. Oh, of course. Well, that's how And uh, a lot more uh, leptomeria. Buenas uh, to to tipe, que ti, banter, we call it banter, yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. What banter they were giving each other uh, at the time in the car. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it. I, I mean, he shared it with me. And um, yeah, it's an interesting story that one. Another one which I share, which has been shared, which there's no ill feel. Um, look, back in the day, in the, in the early 80s, late 70s, Flying an aeroplane wasn't easy, yeah? No. It was, ex- it, was expen- it was an expensive exercise. So the clubs between Melbourne and Sydney, they will travel they will travel the musicians by train. By train, right? You guys have got train and stuff. Yeah. By train, right? You're born. So let me tell you, Scott of the Law and Apostolaki, Adoni Apostolaki, who at the company was was called the Law in Australia for three or four months at least, they stayed in Australia, was he travelled from Sydney to Melbourne by train. So Squad of the Law had a, a cousin, a lady, cousin, yeah, theatre, so they're in Sydney. They put in and a papel, some chicken, cotta, um, and some food. They eat on the plane, on the train, on the way down to Melbourne. Anyway, so the guys, um, you know, eating along the way. I don't even know he didn't eat any. Right? Mono score the Rosa Fagi. We pawn along the way, we pawn. Exit all. Just a second, my amiga. Kalase, it was a hot day. Pando Stokersi, Kalas. Right? He had gone off, but he hit me. As a result, the poor bloke, he had caught food poisoning on the train. So the guy's puking on the, on, the, on the train. They stop halfway in a city called Albury, a country town called Albury. They take him off. The ambulance in that radio. The ambulance, the ambulance, take him to hospital. Really? Yeah. This is the this, right? It's a true story. So they take him to the Sokomil. Um, they take off. So Donny gets off the train with him because he was accompanying with a broken English chair, yeah? broken English. But they did have. He did have on him a little a card of his contact, which was my dad at the time. And. Uh, and we've got a friend of yours here. Oh, you know, we're at the, we call you from the Albury Hospital. We've got a friend of yours. We believe he must be a musician. Um, but he's here at the hospital because we, you know, we're not sure he's, he could have food poisoning. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but he's got a friend who's accompanying him and so forth. Uh, he wants to say a few words. So I don't get from the phone. My dad, now, there's no mobile phones here. Yeah? This is all the telephone, the telephone, the landline as we say. So Adoni, Adoni tells him what's happened. And mind you, in, a, in Melbourne, this was three, four in the morning. Okay, so his dad's woken up. Um, anyway, no problem. Lee, no problem, cuts the kipuis there, we'll, we'll come and get you. So dad rings um, another committee member, uh, Stavros Yaganis, who comes and then his daughter Eva uh, involved in the Cretan scene as well. Uh, at the moment so he grabs Stavro and they get in the car and they drive four hours to Albury from Melbourne wow. at three in the morning at two, two in the morning they get uh, I don't know what time exactly it was but they get to Ximeromata so they walk into the hospital so Adoni tells my dad out of the room um, what happened so uh, dad goes to Adoni 
πα σε πλάκα και άκουσε το story. Θα δουλέψουμε λίγο το σκορδάλι, να το δουλέψουμε λίγο. Θα τα walk into the room. Όχι, τη ρωτούσε τη Σοκράτη μου, Σοκράτη μου, Σφράκη, you know, you've got the same. Ήρθε να πάρει. Τι σου είπε να γίνει νοσοκόμη, σου είπε να γιατί Σοκράτη μου. Ω, γερό, πεθαίνει. Πεθαίνει, γερό, πεθαίνει. Κόντι μου, γερό. Ten minutes is already gone. You know, today you're not going to survive. You're staying here, bro. You're not going anywhere. Up until I, until I don't know if he couldn't hold his laughter. He couldn't hold his laughter. So broke it in 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 Gelia, and then obviously the the uh, the joke uh, couldn't go any longer. Give us a cut. Uh, the jokes I hear about all these stories is part of the thing that I want. I want people to, you know, some of these jokes are hilarious. The pranks but that they gotta, play. You got to get them recorded from a deck. You'll tell yeah, you the pranks that, that, they, people, that these people guys pull on each other and that we all do on each other are hilarious. So pull the pranks. Some of them we can for tell. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> His don't do it. But you're not getting it, bro. You're staying here. Um, that you're going here in Australia and it's it's got those freaking enemies. Let the panda. Anyway, fifteen minutes later, they reload. He was I still so calm. Put him in the car. They drove back to Melbourne. Needless to say, all along Melbourne, the trip back, they're puking. Right? They're puking. He's puking. Sorry, he's puking. Yeah. And they arrived in Melbourne to Melbourne, and the next day, Duke, they were playing at a picnic there with Selimy. Because uh, back in the day, they would do a lot of picnics. Yeah. Well, barbecues, dinner dances. They do a lot of picnics. Right? Yeah, most. Most of the yeah. pictures that I see from back in the day are picnics. And Dad goes, mate, you should have seen him. He was a gun. He played from uh, eight o'clock in the morning right through. Nothing bothered him. It was like nothing happened to him. He done a He was. Uh, yeah, the Lina gave him the energy. Yeah, he gave him energy, and he was a gun. And yeah. so another interesting story that I thought I'd share with you. But that's in that publicly too many times. Um, yeah. It's all right. This is hopefully going to reach a different audience, our new people, new uh, someone that may not have seen that. So can I put me the idea? Get the idea. Φίλε όμως πέρασε μια ένα φάση στον κόσμο που είχα την τρέλα και μας έπα τελικά συνδέες. I'm still in that. I'm still in that. The originals. I mean I still do. Like now, I reckon I'm going home with about eight CDs in my valise. I send you links. Yesterday, you know what? You know what I did? I left this task camp. I went to a gladi at Duyana. Pater Mikey, George, Kiriako Savianodaki was playing with Galani. Oh yeah. Yeah. I saw a video. I saw a photo. Yeah. So I went because I want to see. I've always wanted to see but they might get the yoga together. And then I, I wanted to leave so that I could... Funny enough, I don't think I've heard of the yoga too. Me neither. That's why I always wanted to see. So, but I wanted to wake up early to make sure that I'm here for this. So I, But I leave the recording and I'm in Hasso. I did it. Yeah. Και το office και έγραφε. So, το office και έγραφε. Καλά έκανα από αυτό. But then I couldn't sleep when I got home. I'm like, what if I don't get the recorder back in time and you're waiting for και me. Ποιο, ποιο yeah, yeah, yeah. Ποιο but then Mikey lives close to me. So I, I was like, take it. But, then, and, but I, I didn't get any sleep last night. I might as well just stay at the clinic and get some extra videios too. Αλλά ήταν ωραία, ωραία βραδιά. Nice, solid, classic. Back in the day, old school ready. Bro, what up? Um, I, I still have that, that, that recording thing. Like if I go somewhere and I'm not recording, I don't care if it comes out good or not. I just need to know that it, it's recorded. It's there. So let me tell you. So let me tell you. Um, I had the same title as you. So I got every single Glendy, every camera, 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 yeah. camera video. And I had a little microphone. I had a little microphone that was very good. That I connect to the recorder, mm, yeah. and it was tape, tape recorder. It was tape recorder at the time, and I'd record it. Even playing with one, shana Leslie, perhaps not that one in the other. Oh, the Danya, keep us with that kiss. When it was recorded, I think it was a car. I can't remember what it was. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine car. Keep it simple. And I forgot the microphone at the table. So I rang him, Nico Vrikora, he rang the kettle the next day, he goes, you post Vrika, ne ne to Vrika, and then many years later, I said to him, obviously I had to fly off to Australia, I took off to Nico Vrikora, he said, you post Vrika, you post Vrika, he didn't ever lost it. So many years later, when he first arrived in Australia, he said, get out of here, he's good with that. He had a bagasse to Nico Vrikora, and he gave him my Nico Vrikora back. By that stage, obviously, different recording systems had come into play, so I don't think I used it again. 
Αλλά μου θύμισε πιστό είναι το μικροφωνάκι. Το να χάσει το αφιστολί του Ζωδάκη. That was when at that time period though, 99-2000, when Ζωδάκη Καραγιώδη were coming in the States yeah. and they were top dogs over here. That's when I walked in. That's when okay. I came into the game too. I mean, I may have had my first thing at the 99 convention, but when I got home, they were the first group to come. Okay. I mean, the first Gleby well, that I remember in New Jersey was them. Yeah. Well, well, and that's I, a great way well, for I'll anybody. Well, I probably started just a few years before you, Derek, in 95. I started in not recording in 95, but I my first photography, so the new photography uh, would be in the 1994-95. I started uh, recording first, right away because I was always recording off of the radio, tapes off the radio, American songs. So I want to hear a song. Okay. It just came out. By the time it came out on CD, I wanted it to hear it in my car, in my room, or on my headphones. I'd come here with a whole bunch of mixtapes of like rap songs and. Okay. Uh, but so I was always into recording. Let me, let me tell you though, I, I reckon this is where I started differentiating between good musicians, um, and I'm not going to mention names obviously, uh, good musicians, mediocre musicians, um, bottom level, and so forth, right? And at the end of the day, it's not good or bad, it's it's, it's Wusa. It's, it's exactly, Wusa. that's what it's I try what to tell you. What do me. you like to hear? How do you like to hear it? That's it. What's your listener? What's your listener? What's your listener? What's That's it. Και εμεί θα τα γούστα του 95, τα γούστα του 2023, καμία σχέση με τα μετά. Mm -hmm. You know what played a big role for me, and, I, and I'm sure I did for my brother too, growing up uh, when he started playing the leader. But the cantavas that my dad took me to at the start, mm -hmm. and my dad's called Yo, oh, yeah. you know, when I was a teenager and he dragged me, it was, my first trip was with my dad. I, I then did my own trip later. My first trip to Kariki, uh, my dad was here. I think it was 94, 95, 24 years old. I didn't, I didn't did a trip to Crete on my own before that. So wow. all my upbringing, yeah. all my Crete upbringing from 16 was all in Australia. Yeah. Okay. You didn't come here at all? I did not come to Australia. My brother did. A lot. I think my brother came as a teenager. Not like even that. as but a kid with your... No, 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 of course. Your... A kid with my oh, parents. Yeah, yeah, okay. But I'm me, saying on my too. own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a, on my own. I didn't yeah. come here until 25. Mine was 18. I think on my own. I didn't come to 24, 25, and the first one was my dad. Then I came up to the next year on my own. Anyway, and um, obviously, thought there was my dad here, even though I did my, I'll do my own things. And there was three or four Glendia that I went to for your and stayed with dad. And you know, in Melabus, we have this tradition, which I'm sure you, you're fully aware of, that they do cantadas. Mm -hmm. The Melabini cantada is very renowned mm -hmm. all over Kriti, yeah. all, over, all over the world, that um, the Melabini. Uh, they uh, very, they pride themselves on their cantadas, okay, uh, to the to the point where to this date, when they book musicians for Gledia Panigiria in the Horyo, they make sure they tell them, listen, dude, you're gonna be you're gonna start the Gledia nine o'clock, yeah, yeah. ten o'clock, but, but this, you need to be at the local ca at that cafe Neo at seven, yeah. where the Horyani gather mm -hmm. for a two hour two hour barea uh, at the cafe Neo, and then we do a cantada in the yeah. village. And we land in the Silovo, and you can play the Silovo after. That's, so it's a done deal. Like no a, musician comes to Melamis yeah, yeah, yeah. unless they come that's great. and do the Gadava. As a result, guess what? All the young kids have been blooded there, yeah. including that's, people like us that come from Buxtericó, mm -hmm. Australia, Meriki, and so forth. And if, um, like, you know, Bobby Markaki from Canada and America, and like, he's a Malabiano, and uh, can't even Malabiano see him. So, yeah, that's amazing. Oh, Yanni. Yeah, 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 bravo. Um, but we have been blooded with this Vini um, Kadava, right? And that's where I started realizing a little more the different shit, and there's a different world of not just the mainstreams that come to Australia. Yeah, there is a different a, world here. There's a feeling there's a behind, feel, there's a. Yeah, there's, there's better quality music, or there's different quality music, not better, but anyway. Uh, more suited to your soul. Correct, correct, correct. And that's when I start understanding. Okay, hold on a minute. That's a, that's when I start differentiating between. Um, yes, yes, and epilepsy. But and let me tell you something, which you don't know, because I haven't published it yet. Uh -huh. But I've written a thesis on Crete music. Yeah, I have. On Crete yeah. music. Yeah. And Crete musicians. There's a chapter in the thesis, but I've never published. I I have. Like, uh, and I reckon, what, I reckon one day I, paper in, I have a paper in my head about. But I have it for different reasons because Mesaki Grafokapis Alifias and 
and I wasn't, Mine is just I wasn't my point in a of position view. to my uh, feel my... Right. So I've written it and I was taking notes as I was growing up, I was taking notes, I've kept a massive archive of material of episcopal mm-hmm. technon in Australia up to Broto, up to Dorino. Okay. So I've got a lot a lot of archival material. I actually plan on doing something with it. Okay, whether it's not a lot of it's in my dad's book, a lot of it's in my book that I just um, have uh, released this year to Kirti, which is you know the 40, 30, 40 years of the federation mm-hmm. of our national body. Uh, a lot of photos in there. The catalog of them. Dad's got the full catalog of until two thousand ten because it pre- printed in two thousand ten. So all the ones yeah. after two thousand ten are not in there. Um, but the website is sort of up to date. But apart from that, catalog surely pulls. And I'm going to launch this thesis that I've prepared. Uh, so, 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 I mean, I was talking with somebody that I used to work with from India, and he goes, in certain parts of, or uh, in certain parts of like the culture and their history, like the musicians were the gods. They brought like certain energies, certain feelings to you, joy. They brought you happiness. The music. I would sorrow, look up to a lot of these musicians. Yeah. I'd, I'd see them as, uh, you know, yeah, as gods, as, uh, hero, our heroes. Yeah, so our like, heroes. Oh, this kind of definitely this, and this kind of definitely that. That was in our younger years. I was like, I was like you, yeah. and I, I'm sure a lot of us were. Was this was this some sort of thing called? Yeah, yeah my Kabar and George Manos, um, uh, and uh, a lot of his his generation of kids. Yeah, mm-hmm. I watched um, those kids grow up. Basically, you know, yourself, my brother uh, George. They were all. I reckon you know New York. Uh, my good friend Fasari, mm-hmm. uh, and about a lot of the kids are in New York. And a lot of my kids, my generation, back in um, in Australia, you know. Um, wouldn't say, but we grew up as teenagers, seeing these people in Kiriti, and then seeing them in Australia, or vice versa, mm-hmm. vice versa, seeing them in Australia first, then in Kiriti, and to see come on a pedestal. We had these musicians on a pedestal, yeah. you know? but in the latter year, my latter years, I learned to differentiate between who I yeah. liked. Who are this? Who, are this who you like, wanted to in terms listen of their to, leader, listen pers- to like by yourself type Correct. of thing. Correct. Because you know we could go and have a great time with no matter who's playing. You go, you the glad, and Correct. you have a good time. Correct. Very true. Very true. Anyway. But yeah, we gotta we gotta draw the line there. Yeah. It's 1:30. Well, thank you for taking the time out of your vacation yeah, we'll to talk to me.